Hi guys, it's Mukhtar here. I hope you're all okay. I've just finished the eight week long summer holiday. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to spend it with the whole family. So Dadaji and Dadiji, my grandma and grandpa came to visit all the way from Malaysia and we had a really good time together, really good eight weeks together. Um, they're still here. Um, so uh, I, I hope that we'll be able to make the most of our time we have left together. But since the holidays are over, that means that it's back to school. And so I'm gonna tell you guys all about my first week back at school, um, what's new, what's changed. I think the biggest change, the biggest change that um, we've had is though we've welcomed a new chief master. Um, which is also the first female chief master in the history of Kaz. Yeah! Um, I she seems she has she seems to have a very interesting personality. I I can sense that she's going to bring a lot of positive change to the school. She already is. Uh, she's um, te she's volunteered to teach. Um, higher level IB students English um, alongside a busy schedule which I think is an amazing thing to do um, I wish I was in her class because I bet the class would be fantastic but I have to wait a few more years until I can do that so other than that we're well since we're in a new year and now we're also in, we're also in a new year group so last year I was in shells uh, which is year seven, but this year I'm in year eight, so we call that RAMS, which is short for removes. Um, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but um, I, uh, I've explained the origins of the, the, um, the year group names. So uh, there, there are a lot of different theories, but my personal favorite one is that shells, the first year, um we all have this like kind of protective little shell this protective shell around us we're shy uh where we keep to we keep to ourselves mostly um but, and like uh we're still getting used to things but then removes rams which we call it um we we we've removed the shell and so now we're open to try new things and we are qu we're quite confident in school life um but yeah not just a new uh, year group but uh, also a new form group so i'm with new classmates um the idea is to the idea is to mix up all the classes so we make friends with everyone with everyone uh we know everybody um and because one one of the school qualities is actually adaptability and so one of the ways to one of the ways to encourage adaptability is to put ourselves in new environments with new friends and with new teachers too which is something that they do uh, and so I think that this is a really good way to do it to encourage us to build on that quality adaptability uh, but yeah uh, we have a new form tutor um, uh, I th and he seems like quite a fun person. I think we'll have a lot of fun with him. Um, but it's not just our surroundings that have changed. Um, we also have a bit of change to the curriculum. The biggest one for me is that we have longer sports lessons. Sports lessons. So that's kind of exciting to some people and kind of disappointing to others i'm kind of in the disappointing the disappointed uh the disappointed group because like i'm not so keen on sport uh, so instead of two 40 minute periods of sport a week we have three 40 minute periods so that makes two hours um I think I'll get used to it though, I hope, but well, after each, after each sports period, definitely Tehra'ah. Oh, by the way, 
for those who don't for those of you who don't know what letih ra'ah means that's Kelantanese Malay uh, for really tired so there's a new fact for you guys that don't speak Malay uh, speaking of languages we have new languages teachers uh, so the languages are still the same French and Latin but um, we have new teachers uh, and our French teacher happens to be the previous chief master from last year and so a lot of people in my class were thinking wait he teaches French and we were all quite skeptical about how well he was being going to be able to teach it because he was English he was a native French speaker because last year we had a native French speaker as our teacher and so one um and so I remember one of my French speaking friends saying I don't think he's going to be able to teach French that well he isn't even French for a start but then the second lesson when we were starting to learn French as soon as the French words came out of his mouth we were all shocked amazed because it was like listening to a native French speaker speak and then my French speaking friend was like oh my god is is he is he French is he English who is he because we were all so shocked and so but yeah I, I think that um he's gonna we're gonna have good um a good French year with him. Um, well, science, science. We uh, last year in the shells year, we only had one subject under science, so it was all three science, all all the sciences clumped together in one lesson. But this year is a bit different because instead of having one science, one science subject, we have three science subjects. So it's three sciences split into different two period lessons. So biology, physics and chemistry. Uh, and our chemistry also have our chemistry teacher also happens to be our form tutor. So can't wait to see what he has in store for us. Um, but I think that this is a really good change, separating each different sub, each different science into a different lesson, because then that means that we have the space to focus on each science. Um, but what else? Um, uh, as I mentioned before, nearly nearly all of our teachers are different from last year. I think there are only one or two that are the same as last year. Uh, there are a lot of new fun character, new fun teachers. Um, but the teacher that really stood out to me is our history teacher. He, um, before I came to Kes, I wasn't really that I wasn't really that keen on history. I I just couldn't click with all those different dates and people and places that I had to remember. But since coming to Kes. Uh, the teachers have made it really fun and interesting and engaging and because they're really enthusiastic about their subject they make it really um, it's really captivating for their students who are learning it and so I think that's something that they do really well at CAS uh, because they don't just make you learn something they make you learn to love the subject so uh, that's the case for me and history um but this year's history teacher i think is really is going to prove to be really fun um our first lesson with him we were introducing ourselves and so he started everything off so he introduced himself and he said a little a little bit about him so what he liked um so he he kind of he is kind of more the track he's a he likes to travel around the world, um, specifically historical places. Um, so he's been to this place in Jordan. I'm not sure if you've heard. There's this ancient city in Jordan, which is called Petra. Um, and so he's been there. He's also been to China, to South America, to the Middle East and uh, closer to the UK too. Um, 
but there's this one <laughs> fact there's there's this one thing he told us about him which is not really not really um related to history but <laughs> is kind of weird and funny so when he was little he and his brother had um two guinea pigs or hamsters i think and so one was a boy and one was a girl hamster and so he had the boy hamster and he called and he wanted to call it elvis but his brother didn't know what to call the girl hamster uh, and so they were brainstorming what w different names and different ideas uh, different ideas to give the ham to for names to give the hamster and then at that same moment <laughs> their mother walked in and then uh, a light bu a light bulb turned on in their heads and they were like oh i know we should name it after our mother and so ever since that moment uh the, our history teacher has had a, um a liking towards human names human names for pets uh, instead of stereotypical pet names so like because like um, well in his words you 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 rarely see a cat named paul and i kind of agree with him cuz I think that kind of makes sense because like instead of naming your hamster Fluffykins or something like that, I don't know, I've made that up on the spot, um, it, it, it is like it kind of is nicer to give it um, a proper human name instead of a stereotypical pet name. So I kind of agree with him. Uh, but maybe you don't. Um, maybe you kind of like the stereotypical pet names. I don't know, maybe or maybe you agree with me and him. Um but you should but you should let me know. Cause I'd love to hear your thoughts about that. If you agree with me or if you don't. Uh you can let me know in the comments below and I'd love to read your thoughts about that, about whether pets should be named after humans or not. <laughs> um but yeah, I yeah, I think that our hist I think that our history lessons this year are going to be very interesting <laughs> um but yeah i think that's pretty much all the change that there is to the curriculum other than all the new teachers and stuff um but i think i i think that this year is gonna be a very enjoyable this gonna the curriculum is gonna be very enjoyable um uh oh and um i've also uh, I also just signed up for an audition for the junior production this year. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but last year I was in the junior production. Um, and so uh, last year we did Around the World in 80 Days. That was what the play was called. And so um, I was not, I was um, the Parsi, which was the Indian man. Yeah, the Indian man that owned an elephant <laughs> and so i i um offered to give the main characters a ride on my elephant to escape from the police uh, because one of the main characters is um on a bet to travel around the world and so i'm one of his modes of transport parsi and an elephant yeah so that was quite interesting that was quite an interesting experience i really enjoyed that because like it's not it's not every day you get to own an elephant <laughs> um but one of but i i'd say my favorite role last year was being the dancing octopus <laughs> no specific reason i just happen to like octopuses octopi octopi um and yeah oh yeah i just happened to like being an octopus so yeah that was that was um quite enjoyable uh and so i'm gonna so next week i'm gonna audition for um a, for a part in in this year's play i can't re i can't remember what it is 
but I think I I'm I'm pretty sure it'll be as enjoy as enjoyable as as la as last year's. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping that I get in. Um, please wish me luck, guys. Um, I'd really love to be in this. I really love to be in this year's junior production. Um, but I haven't I haven't actually gotten to the icing on the cake at the end of the week yet. So Friday, every Friday, we have something called Friday afternoon activities. And um, so so basically after lunch, instead of doing our normal lessons, we do an activity that is assigned to each class. Um, so like yoga or art or maybe something specific like bike maintenance. And so it's kind of like a break at the end of the week for us. And so this week it was um, it was economics and so most people in my class were really looking forward to that. I was one of them. Um, and so, uh, so this week we were doing an economics quiz. Just to make it clear, economics isn't that isn't something that we study until higher high level. Yeah, until higher levels of the school. And so, this economics session was kind of like a taster for the lower school. And so, um, and so, yeah, so this economic session, we were learning about um, slogans, what makes a good slogan, so like, kind of like a tagline, uh, so like, I'm not sure if you've heard of the Kit Kat slogan, have a break, have a Kit Kat, um, so it's things like that that make a company memorable, and also assigning a specific... Mm, a specific a specific uh, character yeah character to your brand so i'm not sure if you've seen the little pringle man on the pringles pack on the pringles tubes they have um it's kind of, it's like a, it's a man with a mustache and bushy eye a man with a mustache and um is he's got a pringle shaped head and so he's on the he's on the pack of every he's on every Pringles pack, and so I bet you that ten out of ten people would be able to recognize the Pringles man by just looking at that face. And so that that tells you that a company is really memorable if you have if you have a character that everybody can recognize that 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 everybody can easily recognize. And so our economics quiz was based on this on slogans and um and memorable and memorability i'm not sure if that's a word or not <laughs> um yeah and so um when the results came in um i was able to get top marks and so i was awarded a trophy um it wasn't a grand trophy but um i didn't really mind because like I think it, I, it's not the trophy that counts, it's the thought that counts. It's the fact that they're acknowledging your hard work. That's what counts. Because um, that's something that they do a lot in KES. They reward you for your hard work. So whether it be in the form of a, a trophy, like I, was, like I got, or maybe a credits, which is the point system in school. So like if you do a really good homework or classwork, then you get awarded a certain number of credits and if you get enough credits you get a golden book award so like i got a golden book lap i got a few golden books last year um four four to be exact four golden books last year and so uh i uh, my name was penned down in the school history and so that's something that really encourages students to work hard for not just and i don't think that it's just to get the achievement it's to have your work appreciated and that's something they do really well in kes and something that um that it's one of the aspects of the school that i really like uh so yeah so that's the icing on top of the cake for me winning the economics quiz um but yeah that's pretty much my first week back at school um 
but um, I'm sure there's a lot more in store for me, a lot more interesting and exciting things for me. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I really appreciate. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you listening to me. Um, uh, um, just like that. Thank you again, you guys, for watching my video. I um, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos from me. Um, that's it for now. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Goodbye.